Welcome to What's in the Closet. because one, I get asked all the time where I get my comfy t-shirts and where I get my clothing, and two, because I really wanna help inspire each other so that we can make conscious purchases by either pu purchasing secondhand items so that the demand for like new things goes down because we just have so much stuff. When you think about each household, how much stuff the average household goes through and where it ends up most of the time, which is the landfill, then it helps us to realize that we should be more conscious in not purchasing as much. And I'm nowhere near like, I'm not gonna call myself a minimalist, but I am inspired by that and I'm excited to like explore that realm and just keep my life minimal. I feel happier and more at peace when I have less stuff in my house. So I really just like to keep my favorite items in my closet and if it doesn't bring me joy, I don't keep it anymore. I give it away to a friend or give it away to a secondhand shop in that's here in Maui. But other than that, I try not to intake too many things. I try to just like have a few pieces that last me for like four years and that's kind of what I do. I tend to just buy a few things or if I really feel like, man, my t-shirts have so many holes in them, I'd love to have a new tank, I'll go to a secondhand shop or if I find a really awesome um, sustainable company made with fair trade practices and renewable and sustainable materials, then I'm all about supporting that. So I'm here to show you today what I wear and where I get my clothing to help support conscious purchases. All right, so let me just show you. This is my closet. This side is Andrew's side. I think he has more clothes than me. My shoes. What is the purpose for dreaming at night? clothes I want to bring to tell you about is a brand I've recently discovered called Groceries Apparel. organic and recycled materials and their clothing is made in their very own California factory and you can even go to their Instagram and scroll down on their page to see pictures of their employees working in their factory. It's just a super reliable company and their clothing is so soft and super comfortable. I've literally been wearing their clothes every day since they came in the mail. A lot of you ask me where I get my comfy t-shirts and tanks that I'm wearing all the time because I'm just really all about comfort. Comfort is everything to me. Their tank right here and this one. And I'm gonna put a link to their website in the description box below. I am so excited to support this company and help inspire you to support this company because the more we purchase from conscious brands, the higher demand there will be for that. So these are the two tanks I've been wearing so much lately. And I also wanna tell you about their organic V cotton bra, which is like a bralette. I'm not a fan of like actual bras, but I do enjoy to wear a bralette here and there with like a see-through type top. And guys, it is so comfortable. I have another one as well. A gray one. I have the medium size. Super cute tank. I've been wearing this all the time. <laughs> Although, I do have trouble with white. I tend to get white stained pretty easily with green smoothie and kid mess stuff. So, maybe if you're a mom, maybe choose a different color because I'm already getting them stained. So, this is like all my clothing from Groceries Apparel that I've recently gotten, which I was like in some serious desire for like clothing with conscious purchases that are made with love and with fair trade practices. So, I was really excited to come across this brand because I had been wearing my same t shirts for like the last four years, which is great and I'm all about that. All of their clothing is super soft. It's also a PETA approved company, 100% vegan, super comfortable, really good for like mom duty stuff. And this jacket is made of eucalyptus. I haven't taken the tag off yet because I haven't worn it because it's Hawaii in the summer, but I'm going to California soon and I'm definitely gonna wear it in California. It's the Next up, we have this skirt right here, also from Groceries Apparel. Right now, I'm just showing you everything I got from Groceries Apparel, which I'm super excited about because I don't buy new clothes very often, and I was pretty excited to receive these in the mail. So that's everything I have from the Grocery Apparel's line, and I have a discount code for you because it's such an awesome brand. Go ahead and put in that discount code when you make your purchase, and thank you for supporting this company. Link is in the description box below. Next up, we have the tanks that I have been wearing for about 
two to three years now. And I'm sure you're seeing me wear them in my videos and these are the tanks from In The Soul Shine. What's super cool too is that when you buy their products, they come to you in the mail wrap in a compostable wrapper. So it's not like wrapped in plastic when you buy it. So that's another plus. And it's a brand in Australia. This one says, saving animals makes my soul shine. Vegan vibes and love them, don't eat them. And you know me, I'm all about representing the vegan lifestyle. All right, the next company I wanna show you is this brand called The Wild, which is another eco-conscious, sustainable brand made out of cotton, 100% cotton these ones are. This is a robe, kimono, and a tank. And it's also a fair trade company. This whole brand just represents like minimalism and simplicity, and I just love their brand. So this is like a cover-up wrap that I wear to, to the beach. So yeah, this is like a really nice cover-up wrap. They're just overall, a very beautiful brand. The rest of the clothing that I own is either clothing purchased from secondhand stores or just stuff that I got a long time ago that I've just accumulated over the last five, six, some even eight years. And I pretty much just wear the same jean shorts every day. I wear a sarong that my husband got me for Christmas at a shop in town when I go to the beach. And for other tanks that I have, I'm pretty much secondhand shops. People ask me all the time where I get my jean shorts. This is just from like a Goodwill type store. They were like 80s or 90s jean pants and then I just cut them off into shorts. Pretty simple. They're kind of baggy, but I enjoy them and they're very comfortable and I wear them all the time. And then the other pair is something I got like four years ago, which this is by Brandy Melville, but I don't think they have them in the store anymore. This is also another pair of shorts that I sometimes wear. This was from a secondhand shop called, uh, what is that shop called? It's in California. It's that really popular can't remember what it's called. Anyways, so this was from there and they were too big, but I really liked the color of them. So my mom sewed them to be smaller to fit me. So I like these shorts, but these are from a secondhand shop as well. And these were a hand-me-down from my sister that I wear when I work out. The reason I wear those shorts now and not these ones is because these were a secondhand pair of shorts that I got. I literally got them at a clothing exchange. I can pull up here now. <laughs> I used to wear these shorts. Look at all the holes in them. Don't laugh at me. They were so comfortable. I just didn't want to buy new shorts and I didn't know of any like active wear that was like consciously made or made with like good materials. So I just like kept wearing these shorts. So yeah, they have holes in the back now and a hole in the butt and a hole in the crotch. Don't even ask me why I still have them. I don't know. I think it's because I just, I'm just i gonna be sad to part with them because they're just so comfortable and they fit so perfect. I got at a clothing swap party with some girlfriends on Maui. We like all got together, which is a great idea if you're looking for some new clothes but you don't want to spend any money or you can't afford to buy some new clothes. Gather all your girlfriends together, get all your clothes that you don't want, come together for a dinner party, bring like potluck style, or bring dinner to share, and everyone just shares and swaps their clothes. So that's where I got this. This was from like a friend in Maui who didn't wear these shorts anymore. So I got them, other gals took my clothes that I didn't want. So we swapped, so basically secondhand, and I wore them for three years, and now they look like this. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. <laughs> and then I also have this sarong. I wear to the beach all the time, and it has a hole in it as well, but I still wear it because I like it. I might ask my mom to sew that too. And this is a new sarong that my friend Amelia got for, gave me. It was like in her closet. This is something she got in Bali. So I'm going to show you now pretty much the rest of what's in my closet. It's pretty much just like secondhand or something I got within the last like six to eight years. I just wear them over and over again. And these are like my tanks, a couple dresses that I like. This was a secondhand sweater that I got my sister gave me that she found at Crossroads or something, some secondhand shop. This is also a sweater I got at a Goodwill type store, a secondhand store. I got it for like five bucks. So that's what I wear like twice a year when I get cold in Hawaii. And then the rest of the stuff, these dresses, are just keepsakes that I literally have bought like eight years ago when I was in college. Wait, how many years ago was I in college? Eight, nine, 10, 11 years ago, I bought some dresses that I still keep today. I don't know why, they're sentimental to me, like my prom dress. So this was my winter formal dress. And I think I just don't wanna part with it because I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's like a timeless dress. I really love it and I might just keep it forever and then hand it down to someone really special in the future. I don't know. Hi. Wanna say hi to the camera? And I know my friend Bonnie recently did a video on an amazing ethical clothing company, so check her video out as well. Up here we have, people ask me all the time where I get these hats and they're just from this guy down in Lahaina on the west side of Maui. He makes them out of palm leaves. So he doesn't have a website or anything, but if you go to Maui, try to find him in Lahaina on the side of the road. <laughs> this is a blanket that my great grandma made and I love it. And then another blanket that people ask me a lot about that I have in my pictures on Instagram a lot is this one, which I also got at a secondhand shop for $10. So it didn't have a name tag on it, so I don't know where it's from. One more thing, people ask me 
every single video where my necklaces are from. This necklace is from my friend Amanda. She has an Etsy shop and it's the Why I'm Vegan necklace. And it has different charms on it representing veganism. They're made from recycled materials. And it's supporting an amazing stay-at-home mom living here in Maui. And then this is also an amazing brand called YCL Jewels Sustainable Vegan Ethical Jewelry. And this one is a ring by 31 Bits. My friend Callie is a co-founder in 31 Bits. It's an amazing company that supports women in Uganda and men in Bali. It's a people before profit company and I love their jewelry. That's pretty much all I got. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.